Hey guys, it's Will Patson here with another Illustrator CC tutorial video and today I'm going to show you an update that happened in Illustrator. So this is more of an update video, but it's going to show you how to do some cool stuff. Now if you remember, I did a video about rounding corners to make a vintage logo. Now we had to do that by a weird process, but Illustrator have used, uh, well, inputted and updated Illustrator to make it a lot easier to do this function. So if you wanted to ever check out what's new in Illustrator also, go check up help when, uh, what's new and you'll get videos about everything that's new. But I thought I would show you what is new and some things that they haven't told you that I've worked out. Now if I wanted to round the corners beforehand, and there's a couple ways we can do it, we can highlight the shape that we've got a lot of corners in, go up to effect, stylize, and we can go to round corners and we could preview and I've got a value of 19 in there. I'd have to press OK, which means that the round corners is still in the appearance panel. And then I'd have to go to object and expand appearance. Uh, but there's no real way of like getting a new shape or making it not rounded now. So what Adobe Illustrator have done, if I just uh, go back like so, um, have, they've added a new feature. So if I select my shape and press A, we are shown these little dots. These little dots are the round corners. Uh, and if we are in a direct selection tool, we can actually move these dots. And whenever you see that little cursor, that means it's going to bend in the way of that cursor. So I'm going to move that in and it's going to bend just like the cursor says, all the corners. And that makes it so much easier because now it's actually, if you see, the path is actually in line. But the most amazing thing is we can bring it out. How cool is that? I don't know why stuff like this makes me really happy. Uh, maybe a bit too happy sometimes. Um, <laughs> anyway, as you see, if I just hold or click on one anchor point again, I can just affect one, which is awesome as well. So I can do loads of cool stuff here. And just affect one and create things a lot easier, a lot quicker without adding loads of effects. I'm just gonna go back. Now if I go to highlight them all again, you can see that whenever I go into this little dot, I get this curve sort of icon next to my direct selection tool cursor. If I wanted to change that, I could press Alt and then click on it. And as you can see, it's changed. And if I do it again, it's changed. And now it's gone back. So if I just click it once with Alt and I do this, look what it's doing. It's going mental. How cool is that? That is literally just one preset. And then if I go back again, I'm going to show you another one like it's still on the original one, if I press Alt and then press Alt again, we've got a different one. So it's making them sort of flat edged. So it's giving more edges here, which is cool. And this is changing the corners. Also, I can get a dialog box by pressing Alt and Shift and double clicking, which will bring the corners dialog box up. I can even change the rounding, the way that it's all positioned. And I can change the what corner I want. So I can even start changing the corners that I want to do, which is class. All you need to do is hold Alt and Shift and then double click. I'm going to go back down to zero and change it to this sort of round, which is class. So that is how you do it. And that makes it so much easier with an illustrator just to round the corners. So just remember, if you wanted to do it then just highlight it press a and you'll get these little corner things here which look class and if you wanted to change anything in the in a dialog box to add the values in hold alt and shift at the same time and double click on one of these dots and you'll be given one of these with like dialog boxes and you can change things in here like so change the amounts even go further up and this is where we can be really exact and we can even do this just for one of them as well so if i wanted to just select um one of these i can just literally do that i can just select these both anchor points there and i can bring it in which will make a cool little shape there and i can go ahead and bring it to the right so i'm i'm digressing here a bit but i i can't get over how cool this function actually is um, with an illustrator so that is it thank you so much for watching and i'm sorry for the amount of live stream i've been doing i've just like realized that live stream is so cool and i wanted to do more so there will be more live streams coming on every week i'll be doing a live stream so you guys got to watch out for that 
So thanks so much for subscribing. You're all amazing and support me in so many different ways. I can't thank you enough. I'll catch you in my next video. Thank you very much and I shall see you later. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to go check out all the updates in Help What's New. You can check them out. See you later.